Hi everybody, today we looked at absolute value and we learned that the absolute value of a number is the distance between the number and zero on a number line. And we also learned about the term magnitude and we use the term magnitude in math as a magnitude of a measurement is its absolute value of its measure. So we're going to use the magnitude of a measurement in this problem we're going to practice with our absolute value. So Jesse and his family drove up to a picnic area on a mountain. In the morning, they followed a trail that led to the mountain summit, which was 2,000 feet above the picnic area. Then they returned to the picnic area for lunch. After lunch, they hiked on a trail that led to the mountain overlook, which was 3,500 feet below the picnic area. Locate and label the elevation of the mountain summit and the mountain overlook on a vertical number line. The picnic area represents zero. Write a rational number to represent each location. So on the number line that I have over here, I can see just by glancing at it, um, my initial thought was to count by 500s, but I'm not going to have enough tick marks on there. So I'm just going to go ahead and say here's zero, which I know is my picnic area. So I'm going to go by 1,000s. And then we had below the picnic area, which would be our negative integers. And that should be enough that I can use for this problem. I should be able to graph everything that I need. So taking a look again, we have the picnic area at zero. So I know that here is my point zero, our picnic area. It also wants to show where that mountain summit is. So the mountain summit, as we go, it said the mountain summit was 2,000 feet above the picnic area. So the mountain summit then is going to be right there, 2,000 feet above zero. And then it also talked about the mountain overlook and that was 3,500 feet below the picnic level, or the picnic area. So one, two, 3,500 is going to be right in the middle there between negative 3,000 and negative 4,000. So now that we have them graphed, we can represent what they would look like. The mountain summit was above the picnic area, which is a positive 2,000. And the mountain overlook is below the area of reference, which is the picnic area. So we're going to write that integer down as a negative 3,500. So now it says use absolute value to represent the distance on the number line for each location from the picnic area. So the distance from the picnic area to the mountain summit. So when we take a look, we're really talking about the distance from the picnic area to the mountain summit. And that's the distance is 2,000 feet. So with absolute value, we would write that as absolute value. It looks like it's kind of stuck between two walls. The absolute value of 2,000 is equal to 2,000 feet. The distance from the picnic area to the mountain overlook when I use that, I can see I start at the picnic area, go to the mountain overlook. That distance is actually a negative 3,500 on the number line. But when we're setting it up with absolute value, negative 3,500, the distance is positive. We measure distance positively. That's the magnitude of the distance. It's 3,500 feet. So the next part is, what is the distance between the elevations of the summit and the overlook? Well, the summit was 2,000 feet above the picnic area, and the overlook is 3,500 feet below the picnic area. So the distance between both of them would be going here and then to here. So we've got 2,000 and we have 3,500. which when you put them together now, there's a total of 5,500 feet. 
So we use the absolute value to measure the distance from zero um, with measurement. We would call that the magnitude of a number. It's just finding its absolute value so we can find out what its value is as far as distance is concerned. So good luck on your practice and make a difference today.